Hi, I'm Christina Matisic with Allaire Homes. We are at this beautiful luxury custom home that sits on a one acre lot in Anmore, BC. Built in conjunction with Zed Studio and Madeline Design Group, this house features five bedrooms and seven bathrooms. As you make your way up to this modern farmhouse, there is a long stamped concrete driveway and the exterior is made of stone and board and batten cladding with a metal roof. Now this is a great room. As you come inside, one of the first things you'll notice is this big concrete column. It's actually one of the key design features inside and the entire home was built around it. So that concrete column is just pure opulence and like design feature, like just having fun. The clients were just like, oh, we want floating stairs. I'm like, yeah, but we could do a concrete column and then we could have stairs floating out of the concrete column. Zen garden below, like, what do you think? And boom, there it is. It's amazing, love it. The living room area features windows across the entire backside of the house. And check this out. 20 foot ceilings and is anchored by this floor to ceiling dramatic stone and steel fireplace. One of my favorite design features is the fireplace in the great room. Um, we love when we get to do a two story fireplace like that and the detail and the texture on it is just absolutely stunning. In a big house you want to make sure that it still feels warm. It also has this beautiful bar area that's tucked away. We have hickory hardwood flooring throughout the house. The kitchen is almost as big as the living room. It features oak cabinetry, a quartz countertop, and Miele appliances. Of course, we have a coffee station here, and one of my favorite features, the butler's pantry. And here's something you don't see every day, a built-in vacuum sealer. This massive island is eight by 13 feet. It's one of the biggest ones we've ever built. And it features two full length slabs and cabinetry and shelving on all four sides. Having an open concept, you're taking away a lot of walls. So anywhere you can kind of add built-ins and add that extra storage is, is usually really needed. One of my favorite features in the kitchen is just the amount of storage that you get. What's great about this dining room is there's so much natural light coming in. Right next door, we have an office slash craft room with a beautiful built-in. And also on the main floor, a pretty powder room. I'm a huge lover of powder rooms, especially when we get to do a bold wallpaper and I love the drama in there. I think it's just kind of its own little slice. The entertainment room features cozy loungers, another bar area, and of course, a golf simulator. And that is why I need a simulator. <laughs> the bridge is this really elegant way of bringing in a lot of light into the home. And it allows for human interconnectivity when people are walking on the bridge. You can see down below, have conversation. It's also a way to really experience the space from a different place. The spacious primary bedroom has some really nice design details. There's wainscoting on the back wall, a linear mosaic tile on the fireplace, and again we see these big windows. Now we've all heard of his and hers sinks, but how about his and hers bathrooms? This is hers. It's bright and spacious. Remember that fireplace from the primary bedroom? Well, you can see it from this side too. And of course we have more of that beautiful built-in cabinetry with a vanity. I really enjoyed being able to do a really feminine ensuite for her, which we don't typically get the opportunity to do. And right across the hallway, we have his bathroom, which is a lot darker and moodier. On the flip side, the masculine, just going to that extreme was also really interesting and just adding that detail was really fun too. It has a steam shower and he has his very own urinal. Even the laundry room is pretty. And in case you're wondering, this color, 
Icelandic blue. Another unique feature to this project is that we got to do a guest house. The guest house is big, bright, and airy. It has a vaulted ceiling, lots of windows. It was fun for the design perspective because it's not the same as the main house. It's speaking to two different personalities and, and there's complementary materials, but not necessarily the same throughout. Back on the ground floor of the main house, here we have multi-slide doors which really open up the view and the space. Inside of the home and the patio, they just flow like one. It just becomes an extension of the house. There's no central post, which required a lot of additional engineering. There's a massive steel beam that's carrying all the way from the concrete column all the way out to the exterior of the house so that we can open up that massive, beautiful sliding door. The floor space doubles when we open up that corner and it just feels. Outside we have a large covered area. The ceiling even has skylights, lots of seating, an outdoor kitchen, and a container pool that doubles as a hot tub. That's it for the Solaire home tour. We hope you'll like and subscribe below and we'll see you next time.